Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. F Dash here with F Dash TV. And today we're talking about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows. No, no, not the terrible Michael Bay produced sequel to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is actually the video game that has nothing to do with that movie that came out for Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, as well as PC, back in 2013. Now this game... I don't I Honestly, I don't even know where to begin with this game. It, there's a lot. This game is a lot. And I let that intro play for a little bit because a lot of people say that's actually the best part of this game, the intro. That, uh, that song is pretty good. So, I have a special place in my heart for this game, and it, it was not well-received, right? And we're going to talk about that. Uh, this game is not well-received. It, I believe, got a 2 out of 10 for PC and Xbox 360, and then for PS3 got a 4 out of 10. It's full of glitches. Uh, as you can see from this screen alone, it's not really the prettiest game ever. It was published by Activision. And you can't buy it anymore because Activision did not renew their license for this game. Uh, but this game has... It's such a weird, weird game because it has so much to offer. And it was a budget title, right? This game came out at $14.99, right? So 15 bucks in the U.S. And there was just so much in this game. So much. And unfortunately, there just wasn't enough time... I mean, look at that. That's actually a really beautiful rendition of Leonardo. Kind of looks like from the first movie. So there's a really... There's a lot of stuff in this game, and we're going to talk about it. And it's almost as if they were like... They just had so many great ideas for what a Ninja Turtle game in the 2010s should be. And they were like, let's add this, let's add this, let's add this, let's add this. And then when it came, came time to, you know, actually like finalize it and pay for it they're out of time and or money you know and so you can see like the makings of what should be a really really good game in here that's just not not in here right so i think we will start off with how this game looks it's not it's not necessarily attractive you know it is from 2013 right so a, a full decade ago not the most attractive ninja turtle game right that probably still is held by the champion of Ninja Turtle games, um, Turtles in Time, right, for Super Nintendo. A beautiful game. So you can see Mikey here sitting down. He looks looks hideous, right? So the thing with the design of the turtles, and I don't think, uh, maybe if I go to stats, I can show you them a little more up close. The design of the turtles is interesting because it's an amalgamation of a few different turtles. Right to me, it's like a little bit of the of the cartoon at the time, a little bit from the maybe the first movie, and then a little bit from the CGI TMNT movie. You know, uh, I don't. That's what I see. I mean, like Donatello's, he's a hideous beast. That's just ugly. Mikey, holy crap! And Raph, Raph probably Raph and, and Leo probably look the best, but. Yeah, so design-wise, not the prettiest game. It was never going to be, you know, graphically advanced for its time. It just wasn't going to be. So that's not really a great starting, right? But what 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 did the game try to do well? Well, one of the things is this move list here. Uh, there's a ton of moves, right? So these are your team-based moves. Um, you have, like, your own character-based moves in terms of what he can do. You have, of course, your combat, and then you got your specials and defense, attacks, and finishers. It's just there's so much in here. There's there's an absolute metric crap ton of maneuvers and moves, 
and a lot of them are situational, right? So you've got your basic, you know, four hit combo. You've got your, you know, so sort of for your weapon, and you also have some kicking abilities. So the difference between, you know, like punching and kicking is that kicks, as it says there, actually, it actually doesn't say there. So kicks uh, break blocks, right? So if they're blocking a lot, your your square attacks, and you just hit them with with kicks, and it'll break it. Then you've got some holding stuff, and then. Like I said, this game tried to do a lot. Uh, so one of the things it does, and it does relatively well, is it has this thing called TPKO. So you can see here it says it unlocks a new turtle power KO move. If you're not familiar with this game at all, it's actually based off of Batman Arkham Asylum, as all uh, beat-em-up games from the 2010s were, right? So right there, not a bad place to start. But they just try to do a lot with the moves, right? So it does have like a free flow type of combat. And when you reach like a certain threshold of attacks, then you can do sort of like a special, right? And in this case, those are called turtle power KOs, right? And so you've got a, a number of them. You can do triangle, triangle, triangle when they're stunned. You've got the shell shock where you hold R2, which is like your modifier, you press circle. And you also have like a throw finisher. And then, I mean, there's like team up attacks, right? So, th so you can hold R2 and then press X, and that does like a team up attack. Uh, you can switch on the fly whichever character you want to be uh, as you're playing, which is pretty cool. And for the most part, there are there are also counters in the game, right? So as you can see here, leaping counter, you press circle, then you press X, then you press triangle, and you do like a leaping counter. So say so you've got a bunch of different counter abilities just like batman right the problem comes in when you try to do specials like i said they ran out of buttons essentially and so your specials are done with the right stick and you have to like twirl it or spin it counterclockwise and it's just it just doesn't work it doesn't work because like this is a full 360 but this one's only a 180 you know and the, it's really, really imprecise. It's so difficult to actually do the maneuver appropriately. It's just, it's really, really hard. And so you end up just twirling the stick, and you're spinning it like a madman, hoping that something comes out, right? And, you know, realistically, nothing, nothing you want ever comes out. So let's go ahead and go into a level, just so you can see. Uh, actually, let's go to the dojo. Uh, but, like I said, the, the combat's actually pretty fun, and it's pretty nuanced. There's really a lot. Let's go to team training. Uh, this is actually something I like. So there's, like, the, the toggle the red headband mode, right? So, like, when they first appear, they all have their their red headbands. You can also change that to the more colorful version that we're all come to know and love. So, as you can see, again, not, not very attractive Ninja Turtles, especially Donnie and Mikey. They're pretty ugly. Now let's go with Wrath here, just because I used him the least. Excellent. But, I mean, look, so, like, here's this one I'm talking about, like, free flow combat, so you can see. Right, and then you, you know, throw it. Look at this. I mean, it just, it actually, it's it's really fun. When it actually works, it's it's amazing. Oops, I, I was trying to counter there. And like I said, you can quickly switch to, you know, whatever turtle you want. Oh my gosh, it's getting destroyed here. You're supposed to be able to counter. Countering is, you know, it's, it leaves something to be desired, to be honest with you. But, you know, let me try to do a special here. So he's got, like, a, a Cycle Crusher special, which is pretty cool, right? But not necessarily the one I wanted to do. There's a counter. Yeah, so Ross counters are actually really, really cool. Here's a throw counter. Or not a throw counter, but a throw special. Oh, I tried to switch my character there. Where is Leo? This is Mikey. Mikey's pretty fun too. But like, so when you got like a full team of... Where the hell is Leo? Did Leo die? There's... Uh, I cannot switch. There's Leo. So when you've got like a full team of turtles... Uh, it's actually really, really fun to play as all of them. Uh, I didn't do any there, but you can actually do team up attacks. Uh, and it's actually pretty, pretty damn great. 
Oh, there was actually one, so I actually did do a team attack at the very, very end there. Let me go back. Uh, yeah, let me switch to Leo here. And look, Splinter actually looks fantastic. I think it's a great model for Splinter. Again, looks a lot like the cartoon. The little bit... Actually, to me, it just looks like straight-up cartoon. So I think that's a really, really great design. April briefly in this game as well. I mean, so you can see... It's not terrible. I mean, look at these moves. Like, some of those are just really, really cool. I'm trying to do it like a team of attack. So, I actually really, really enjoyed the combat. Oh man, got hit there. I know a lot of people did it. They thought it was, like, slow and clunky. And I'm not saying it's not. But, believe me, I've seen hella worse. And like I said, you could do worse than trying to copy Batman. So in that sense, I think I think they did really, really well. So yeah, so I, I really did enjoy the combat. Except for trying to do specials. Like trying to do 180s and then 360s, you're just going to end up doing 180s. Or you're just going to end up doing 360s. It's just, it's really, really difficult to do that. So I, I like I said, I, I did enjoy the combat of this game. It's also pretty difficult. Uh, not necessarily the easiest game you'll ever play. Uh, there is no difficulty settings, right? So as the game increases, and there are only like four chapters or four levels or whatever in the story mode. So you see, there's only four chapters. And so you would think, oh, well, this is really short. Um, and it's not necessarily long, but each chapter, it's got significant amount of length to it, right? In the fourth chapter, you're like in the Technodrome. One of these, you're in the sewers. And the other one, you're like in a rooftop fighting Karai. So, it, I mean, like I said, it, it's it's not a terribly uh, dull game. I think it's actually a really, really fun game. Did I gain any experience points for doing that? Oh, this is the JoJo, sorry. But, I mean, like, you can even see the little, little things in the background. You got your big bonsai tree. Uh, I don't know. I, I really enjoyed that. So, anyway, the other thing is... Uh, there's also like a workshop mode where everybody has a special weapon that Donnie has created for them. These these don't really factor too much into the game, I'll be completely honest with you. I have them all maxed. Um, so Leo gets a blade staff, Donnie gets a gravity gauntlet, uh, Michelangelo gets his uh, Kusari, Kusarigami, Gamma, and Raphael gets iron fists. Uh, you end up not really using these, to be honest with you. So... I don't have to worry too much about that. Um, you've got, of course, concept art and whatnot that you can unlock at the fridge. I almost have all of them. There's April, so she looks pretty cool. There's Karai. A really good design for Karai, too, honestly. There's some foot soldiers, the dummies, Mausers are in this game. Then you got Baxter, the Cerberus Mauser. You got the Krang. And you know the crank outside of his body, and then there are these two I haven't unlocked yet because I haven't actually finished survival mode. So this game does have a survival mode, but one thing that a lot of people did not have the patience to actually unlock in this game is, to me, the coolest damn part about this game at all. Right? So let me state that this game is co-op. Offline, you can play two players, which is a weird choice because there's four turtles. Online, you can actually do four-player co-op, full-on Ninja Turtle co-op. Additionally, you can um, you can go to and play the arcade. So the arcade is, as it says there, Donnie's custom arcade cabinet. And just just take a look at this, and you'll see what I mean. This is as close as to Turtles in Time as you're going to get. You know, um, way better than the reshelled version. This is actually a really really cool version. And it's, you know, classic arcade style. This is actually four players. And it's one of the things that a lot of people didn't really unlock because you have to, in order to get more levels in this arcade version, you have to... I will pick... Uh, yeah, I'll do Leo. You have to actually, you know, play the actual game. And so most people just didn't do that. And honestly, it's, it's really fun because you get to keep all your same moves. And instead of the game being like 3D, 
you see right there, you can play four players in arcade mode. You don't get any EXP in this version, but look at this. You just you just go, right? And you can't also switch characters either, so you're kind of stuck here. But you have all the same moves as you would have. Yo, if I could counter, it'd be great. You can like vault over people. Done and done. Nice. But yeah, this is honestly one of my favorite modes in the game. And I keep uh, pressing the wrong button for counter because I'm used to Arkham. But there's like little secrets here and there. It's just I think it's a really cool thing to to include in this type of game so but yeah so I mean honestly this is I don't hate this game I really don't if I hold it oh yeah see if you hold it it goes even higher but look here's a little power up I just wish you got XP in this mode honestly oh counter I'm telling you man this game oh you can actually yeah, look at that. So it's got like a little, little environmental things. I mean, it's this is so cool. Oh, I didn't even know you could do that. Countered a little too easy. Oh, a little too fast there. I don't know. Come this way, guys. This is really cool. So yeah, this is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. What is it called? Out of the Shadows. Again, not to be confused with... Oh, I need to spin to win here. Not to be confused, oh that's a new one, with the uh, terrible movie that exists out there somewhere. Wee! Seriously, that's that's a little fun. Oh, you're still not dead. Not to be confused with the terrible movie, right? But, hey, it's here again. If you have an Xbox 360 or a computer, uh, it's probably best not to play this, to be honest with you. It's not really good for those systems. It's not really good necessarily for PS3. There's just there's a lot of what what, what would you say? There's a lot of okay, check this out. right there. A lot of glitches. There we go. Now we're getting the counters. Get up. Woohoo, baby. Got him. There's even a, like a run button. You can do like some pretty cool stuff. I'm telling you, there's there's. The combat in this game is really, really good if you just give it the chance, right? Is it as good as Arkham? Of course not. Very few things are. There we go. Oh man, look at that, in the air too. But yeah, so this is out of the shadows. It's 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 a game that I think gets a lot worse rap than it deserves. I think it's actually a pretty competent Ninja Turtle game. Honestly, probably one of the better ones, to be honest with you. That, you know, a lot of people just, you know, there are a lot of glitches, so I, I get it. You may not have played it because of that. And I don't really blame you. But for what it is, for how much it was, I think it's a fantastic game, right? So, I just wanted to, to show you this game. It, it, like I said, it has a very special place in my heart uh, because I really, really enjoyed it. And the more friends you have playing it, honestly, the better it is. So, I mean, if you do find yourself with the ability to play it, just give it a shot. You know, it, it might surprise you a little bit. But thank you guys so much for watching. I want to thank you for, for being a friend. <laughs> but I'll check you guys next time on F-TV. Take it easy.